Now I am moving on to the next question. Question number 125 related to renting of immobile property. Mr. X, the owner of a residential building in a commercial locality, furnishes the following information relating to the said building for the month of June 2021. Area of the building, so basement, so it is first of all a residential building. Renting of residential building, first the property is divided into two, residential property and commercial property. Residential property given for residential purpose is exempted. Residential property given for commercial purpose will be taxable. Now, it's a residential property. It is leased to Mr. B, a wholesaler on a monthly rent of 2,40,000. Mr. B uses one-fifth of the basement for his office and remaining portion as a go-down for storing his merchandise. So now, it is for what? Commercial purpose. So it's a residential property given on rent for commercial purpose. Therefore, it will be taxable. Then ground floor given on rent to Mr. C for a monthly rent of 60,000. Mr. C uses the same as his residence. So renting for residential purpose is exempted. Renting for residential purpose is exempted. Then number three, first floor occupied by Mr. X and his family. So self-occupied. So first of all, there is no supply. There is no supply in this case. There is no supply. Then number four, large vacant land in the backyard given on rent to a parking contractor. So it is for what purpose? Residential property given for commercial purpose. Therefore, it will be taxable. Again, terrace given on lease for a quarterly rent of 5,20,000 to measures universe communication for erecting and maintaining a mobile communication tower. So it is so taxable. It is taxable. Why? Because residential property given for commercial purpose. So that will be taken as the value. But here, if you see, all these are monthly rent. All these are monthly rent. Wherever it is taxable, so monthly rent. But here it is quarterly rent. So therefore, what I did, this 5,20,000 divided by 3. So quarterly means, so divided by 3. 1,73,333 I took. So that 9,53,333 became the value. Okay. So here assumption is that so whatever renting that is being given so they are raising the invoice because they are asking for the month of June. So assuming that the invoice are raised on a monthly basis so that's why I am taking. Suppose if you take another assumption that quarterly rent for the quarterly rent invoice is raised in June month. So then in that case entire 520,000 will be included in a value for the June month. Okay. So here we need to take the assumption accordingly. Then 